sun, sea, mountains. Exotic fruits grow everywhere. There are palaces overgrown with vines. And the ringing of tickets is hard. What do you do think after hearing opening monologue? Maybe about some place in Central Asia? Or about God forgotten town somewhere in Africa? And what if I say that in that place a faded and shabby Khrushchev building skated, Volga, Niva and Jiguli drive on the roads, and the most of local residents speak Russian? Boom! Now everything's so simple now, doesn't it? Two seemingly different elements exist peacefully in this unusual place. And it looks great! Ladies and gentlemen, today we'll have amazing travel to the Abkhazia. Welcome to the Gaga city. The trip did not start as usual. We were decided to go by car from Krasnodar. We left in the evening so as not to get in a traffic jam. Several times replacing each other in the wheel and making rare stops at gas station. After 10 hours, we arrived at the Abkhazian border. Beside us, there were many who wanted to cross it. A couple of hours in the line, and now we are already driving through the territory of Abkhazia. Towards noon, we got to our hotel in the city of Gagra. Local residents have adapted on the big influx of tourists and organized hostels right in the, their homes. The hostess of our hostel did the same. In the neighbor of her home, constant noise. In summer, the yard is teeming with all sorts of guests, lord gears and crooks. Quite unusual, but in some way, charming atmosphere. So, what do we have? for 15,000 rubles a week. A tiny room in which three sleeping place are pushed in by force, outdoor toilet and exit to a balcony. Yes, not a lot. By the way, second part of our group got much more comfortable room for the same money. That's how lucky you are. As I said, in the summer there are huge number of tourists in Abkhazia. They come here mainly from Russia and the seas in order to relax, see mountains, greenery and, of course, black sea. So, we on the first day of our weekend decided to go on the beach. And uh, what can I tell you? First of all, you most likely will not to see such clear water in the Krasnodar territory. In shallow areas the water is crystalline. In the deep it's a dark blue. The beach is covered some kind of people or sand. I don't know what is it. There are few people which I like very much. It's ordinary a good beach. The only thing that is uh, lacking is infrastructure. But it's probably silly to require umbrellas and sun landers from the free beach. We had a good rest after difficult trip and went in a search of adventure. Local guys say that not far from the boys, there are some as they call it ruins of an old fortress. We did not have to persuade us for a long time. We equipped ourselves and moved to the mysterious underwater structure. The guy said that we could dive calmly in the soul's place and that they have do it so many times. We listened to their words and tried to make a couple of beautiful shoes for you.
as it is around this place a whole world was formed with its flora and fauna which was very interesting to observe and yes I don't advise you to dive to such deep without preparation. A lot of problems can happen. Personally, my ears were stuffed and for a couple of days I couldn't get away from it. All in order for you to see this mysterious building. I don't think that it were ruined. It was looks like blocks thrown into the sea by no one know who and why. According to the most working version, the blocks performed the functions of breakwater. But as it turned out later, they don't work at all. To visit the Abkhazian beach and not try one of the most popular attractions on the Black Sea coast is a real crime. 3 4, we especially for real life of Raf, decided to sign up for a banana boat trip. We rode, admired the beauty of Abkhazian nature, made stops to swim in the clear water. To be honest, here, yeah, a few kilometers from the coast, you begin to understand why the sea was called black. Just look at these frighteningly dark layers of water, it's charming, delight and scared at the same time. But not everything smells so smoothy. On the way back, the jet sky driver decided to show us what his real speed is. and. That's what came off it. Yes, our banana just spin and all the passengers fell out hit in the water. And the banana stopped a few ten of meters from us. Fortunately, every reminded relatively. Instead, apart from a few abrasions and bruises. We love a situation, come back on the raft and calmly without incidents reach this show. But on this moment it was decided that we would not go into the water in the near time. There are too many work related injuries in a day. Something cuter is needed. For example, take a walk along the city streets, get acquainted with the local infrastructure and buy the beauty. That is how we did it. In addition to grab eating cows, monuments and 100 years old buildings, the fantastic beauty of the landscape, our attention was drawn to be rich exotic flora. Bamboo growing along the road, wine vineyard old building, banana and coconut trees planted in the yard of local residents. It looks so atmospheric. What can it convey? This huge gigantic eucalyptus trees that have shaded their bark deserve special attention. According to the internet, eucalyptus trees shed their bark every year to conserve soil water and speed up the growth process. And damn, it works! Just look in this size in comparison with me. And I'm also, by the way, a large boy. It's incredible. The tutor is a hotel. We notice a seemingly not at obvious thing is that almost all local residents have an unusual gate. It seems that uh, they are built from fittings, metal mesh and uh, other rubbish. Often they have an interesting pattern, spikes, rivers and other decoration. It would seem that such a small thing, but 
In fact, according to the stories, one of uh, the local residents, such a gate is not just decoration of the yard, uh, but also indicator of status of owner. It's self-made and installed even before the foundation of the house is laid. By this gate, you can determine the skill of the owner to work with his hand. We were taught that each pattern is mean something, but we couldn't find any information about it. After seeing all sorts of wonders, in the late afternoon we returned to our room to get a good night's sleep and make a grandiose check at all the sights of the city on the next day. To be continued.